Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Toy Division, and I never thought that I was ever going to be able to get my hands on this. Um, and I shouldn't necessarily say that because I did, you know, have faith, but faith is kind of like, you know, expecting something that you don't know for a fact is really going to happen. Um, I just took it on, you know, good advice that all the sources I've seen on the internet, that this way, this two-pack, which only made it to Canada in the middle, early middle of October, that's now, uh, I actually found this at my local Toys, or not at my local Toys R Us. I, no, I did not find this at my local Toys R Us. It wasn't there. I looked in a bunch of Toys R Us. People were saying that they're finding them. So I went all around, excuse me, where I live uh, here in Mississauga, and I actually went down to Oakville, and I found this. <laughs> wow! So, yeah, bought this. This was retail. I know people online who paid... $80 minimum for this set because you can only get them in the States. And as an American, not, you know, wanting to drive down to America and trying to gamble it just for this, uh, wasn't going to happen. So here I am. I finally got this thing. I'm going to crack it open. And I'm going to play with my toys. And you're going to watch. Okay, so basically here they are opened up. Uh, Corvus Glaive, obviously his um, glaive is, houses his life force. So if it, he's away from it for too long, he gets massively weak and if you snap it as Thanos did in the comics one time well then he's gonna die that's the only way to actually kill him otherwise uh, if, as long as he can uh, get his hands on the glaive again he'll come back to life if you uh, kill him uh, he like he just is in the glaive so yeah that's who he is and he's got this amazing articulation here it's like sickening it just wow wow um, like the ebony maw He's got this ability to just have his body parts all put together. And um, while the comic book version would be nice, honestly, this is more than ample. Uh, I don't know about ample, but this is more than doable. This is a freaking amazing looking figure. Just look at the detail on the face. Like all of this stuff comes up. It's, it's attached here. Oh, okay. Well, he's going to need to touch his glaive again to come back. Um, he can do... Almost the splits, that is, that's about mm, 75 degrees. About a, why did I say 75 degrees? Jeez, this is much more than that. This is about 100, 110 degrees right there. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I, I, I actually like that a lot. As far as his uh, rotation here, he's on the ball joint. And look at this. This is what I'm talking about. That is what I want to see as far as articulation in my characters. He has got a whole bunch of this weird stuff. He's got the little skirt thing going. He's got the cape. The cape is just amazing. Like, that's cool. But, like, it's these front parts here. You know, like, wow. Those are just absurdly good. Uh, wrist joint here. He does have uh, an ab crunch. It doesn't seem like much. When you put him back, it does. You know, wow. But going forward, boom. So he's got a he's got a bunch of things he could do. Look at <laughs> look at this one. Oof! Wow, that's just crazy. So yeah, yeah, fantastic range of mo uh, motion. It's another one of those characters that uh, you can see right there. He's opened, so he's got that kind, and he's still got it at the waist also, uh, not just below his checks, uh, chest, below his pecs. So. Really good looking figure there. Really, really good looking figure. I'm digging on that. So go ahead and hold your glaive there, bud. And then we've got Loki. Uh, boom. He's got his little Tesseract there. I love that. This is like one of the main reasons. Like, I'm glad I got this guy. But, you know, like just this little thing. I don't have to make one of these now. And <laughs> I really thought that I was going to be stuck making a Tesseract. So this is not so dissimilar. I'm going to pull this off. You can see the little tags there. Uh, that will go inside of his, uh, right above the shoulders, not the shoulder, but like the behind the clavicle right there. He's got a little hole. You can see that. So anyway, yeah, this is your typical slick, greasy-haired, lying, manipulative Loki. Um, not so dissimilar from the Thor Ragnarok wave that had Hela come with it, and you could build Gladiator Hulk. I've got that one also. But uh, yeah, that is the figure. That's the Corvus Glaive. These are really great figures. I hope that, you know, if you're here in Canada also, I really hope that you were able to get your hands on one. I know that not a lot came out. I think that there were only three in like half the Toys R Us's out there. I'm very fortunate that I live in 
an area of Toronto, like the GTA, where there are lots of Toys R Us's for me to go to. So if one doesn't have it, I can just ask, where's the nearest one that does? Hey, can you hold it for me? I'll be there in an hour. And yeah, that's what they did for me here. And whew. <laughs> so extremely happy. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it for me. Professor Bill, Comic Book University, Toy Division, Class Dismissed. Mm -hmm.